She don't wanna be saved, don't save her. She don't wanna be saved, don't save her. She don't wanna be saved, don't save her. You know what America's not good at? Balance. We are a nation of extremes. We have to love or hate Obama or Trump. We have to love or hate Republicans or Democrats. We have fewer and fewer moderates and more and more extreme rights and or lefts. And it's not just politics. Our financial markets are extreme as well. Boom or bust. No slow, sustainable growth. And billionaires, not millionaires, are made overnight, it seems like. Amazon can revolutionize an entire industry, not just a business, in a matter of years. It's insane and, of course, it's leaking now into our regulators as well. This week, the CFPB is reviewing the usefulness of their consumer complaint processes and procedures. Now, I'll be the first to admit, the CFPB needs to make some changes. Ruling with an iron fist with little clarity as to what is and is not a rule has not been a good approach. But that doesn't mean we go extreme and tear them all down. Keep in mind, this is the same CFPB that went after Wells for setting up 2 million fake accounts. That's the shit that we want our CFPB sheriffs to catch and prevent moving forward. That's harmful to the consumers and we need regulators around to stop and prevent that, especially in regards to real estate and lending. Please, please, please do not forget the Wild West days of the early 2000s. I'm already seeing a return to those shenanigans, builders giving away cars, realtors are plenty right now and super cutthroat, cutting commissions and throwing in TVs to use their services. New lenders continue to emerge and either have little regard for RESPA, UDAP, and fair lending, or aren't educated enough to know just how many rules they are breaking when they advertise false claims like lowest interest rate ever or zero fees when there are indeed fees. The point is we can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. One of the useful approaches that the CFPB has was a self-policing model to keep the industry clean. If you saw unfair or deceptive acts as a realtor or lender, you could, well, you still can for a little bit, report them and do your part to keep the industry clean. You can go to the CFPB site right now, click on the button that says submit a complaint and share your findings, consumers and industry professionals alike. Did it work? Is it working? Well, go there now and click on mortgage complaints that are for public viewing, by the way, just like a Zillow or Yelp review. And you'll see 249,551 mortgage complaints alone. It's by far their number one complaint, almost doubling debt collection and credit repair. Do we really want to get rid of this? Industry professionals may say, yeah, sure, but I bet consumers would say absolutely no. Again, if you watch this for any amount of time, you know we are not blind CFPB supporters. We have been super critical of them in the past due to over-regulation, but as I stated at the very, very beginning, we are a nation of extremes and we are about to go from over-regulation to very, very, very little regulation. Why, why, why can we not find balance in this country? It is so maddening. Do we not have any level-headed politicians or regulators? This is not healthy and will only lead to a repeat of 2006. Now, technically, this is still up for discussion and the CFPB still wants your input on the matter, but I know how this goes. This entire seeking public input thing, well, that's basically a smoke show and a dog and pony show to prove that they did their due diligence prior to changing the rules. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. If so, we will provide a link to the public comment site so you can share your input. We will end the show with the list of those CFPB questions to you and hey, See you guys next week. Only one time, shame on you. Hold me twice, keep with the blame on you.